welcome back. And if you head outside this morning, you may notice it's a it's a little cold, not ideal, but it's also not the worst that we've seen in the past couple weeks or so. How about yeah, you, Amanda? It, was, it wasn't too bad. There was a little bit of flurries, like nothing concerning, but right. just a nice white cover. Right, I, it's actually pretty, right? Like, yeah. like yeah. A little bit of light snow on the ground. The air now is dry, uh, but we did have some snow showers last evening. Uh, so kind of freshening up that minor snowpack that we have across the area, at least minor in the valley. Uh, so just watch out for some of your sidewalks and side roads and might be just a little slippery in spots. Main roads for the most part here will be fine, especially as we get more traffic as the morning goes on. You can see Interstate 91 is just wet more than anything. Temperature 17 right now, so very seasonable for an overnight low in the, this time of year. And there's not a whole lot of wind to be had either. There might be a little bit of thin fog in a few spots, but that doesn't seem to be too problematic. Today's going to be dry and seasonable, still mostly cloudy, but we should manage to see some sunshine as well. Now, tonight we're going to have a touch of light snow as well. This might just be a little bit more, perhaps a coating to an inch or two of that light, fluffy snow attempts in the 20s tonight. That should be done by this time tomorrow. Tomorrow will actually turn out to be a pretty decent day. It'll be the mildest day of the week. And then here comes the arc, the cold that comes back tomorrow night. And as we go into your Wednesday, let's call it more so your snow meter this morning because there's a little bit of light snow. So you might need a little quick scrape or not even a scrape, but just throw on the wipers or maybe uh, you might have to just blow it away, right? Because it's that light, thin, uh, powdery snow, and it's only about a coating on the ground in most spots. Temperatures, the kids head to school, right where we are now. In the teens, as they're heading home, it'll be in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees in the valley. There'll be a little bit of a breeze, but we should see clouds, but a little bit of sunshine working in as well. Temperatures are in the teens from Pittsfield to Springfield to Worcester right now, all coming in at 17 degrees with that weak weather system that moved through last night. we got another weak system coming through tonight. It actually represents a warm front, uh, which will bring slightly milder air in here tomorrow. I actually think tomorrow's temperatures will end up about 5 to 10 degrees milder than today. And today we should manage to come up into the upper 20s in the valley, probably in the mid-20s in the hills and higher terrain. Mainly cloudy skies this evening, and then 9, 10 o'clock, notice a little bit of blue showing up here, indicating some of that light snow that will be with us kind of off and on as we go through the evening. And then in the wee hours of the morning, and before sunrise tomorrow, I think any light snow will come to an end. Temperatures start tomorrow, probably in the 20s to near 30, and we'll see a little bit of sunshine working in. Highs get up to about 40, upper 30s, and then a front comes through in the afternoon. This brings us to about 3 o'clock. It'll be right around 32 degrees, and then here comes that cold air. It's going to come back at us tomorrow night into Wednesday. So highs on Wednesday may end up, end up being about 20 degrees colder than tomorrow. So tonight, again, about 9, 10 o'clock through very early tomorrow morning, we could pick up a coating to an inch or two of that light, fluffy snow. Highs today will top off in the upper 20s with a blend of sunshine and clouds, more clouds and sun, and it'll become a little breezy out of the southwest. Then tonight, light snow, 20 to 25. The wind, for the most part, is on the light side. Now, tomorrow, we get up between 35 and 40 around lunchtime under a mostly cloudy sky, but a little bit of sun will work in as well. Temps begin to slide as we go into the afternoon, and then that Arctic air comes back at us tomorrow night, and as we go into Wednesday, down in the single numbers by Wednesday morning. Highs only near 20. Cold and dry on Thursday. Frigid start, but the wind will be lighter and a few degrees milder in the afternoon, but still cold, mid-20s. Friday, a weak system moves through a front with, some, with a few flurries. How that front interacts with some coastal moisture will determine whether or not we get a coastal storm on Saturday. So here we go again, right? But we'll see how that plays out as we draw closer to it. Of course, the coastal storm we were watching for this past weekend, this weekend here, uh, was a miss for us. We'll see how this one plays out, but this might have a little bit more potential. All right, that's your forecast. We'll have more weather coming up in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back to you.